A collar tie is used to prevent the roof rafters from separating from the ridge if there is any type of upward or downward motion. And I know you're probably thinking, how could there be upward motion? But I would imagine if you were in an earthquake, this thing got shooken up, then there could be some upward motion. But uh, usually most of the weight is going to be pushing down. You know, if you have a snow load, you know, if it snows and the snow's on the roof, you're going to end up with the rafter separating that way. Uh, these collar ties are usually spaced 48 inches on center, 4 foot on center. What you're looking at here is, is there is one fastened to every roof rafter, and it's 2 foot on center. That's not going to be real common. You're usually going to see them four foot on center. So for a 16 inch on center roof, you're going to have it on every third rafter. A two foot on center roof is going to be on every other rafter. And they usually are going to get fastened with four 16 D nails, but that could be up to the engineer. My, they might want uh, more. And this is where the angled if you cut the angle on the ends with the to match match up to the roof rafters you're going to be able to get more nails into it than if the edges are squared and here's an example of what it would look like underneath now you are allowed to place them in the uh, in the upper one third section they do not need to be placed underneath the ridge how I have them that's usually how I have them help it when I when I do the construction I put put them up against the ridge board to give it some extra support but uh, it can be in the area one third of the upper distance and to give you a better idea what I'm talking about we can take a look at this illustration you can actually see where I drew some arrows in on the roof rafters and uh, they're pointing up this is the upper one-third area so for example let's say that I measured from the top of the wall plates top of the wall framing plates to the top of the roof ridge and I had a distance of 48 inches the collar ties would need to be placed in the upper 16 inches of the roof so this could actually be a problem if you have lower sloping I mean if you had a real small roof you could end up with a problem but you're not going to have the same um, you know you're not really going to you could actually if it was such a small pitch to where let's just say you had enough room to put a 2 by 6 ceiling joist in that would actually act as your collar tie because it would be in the upper third area. I hope that makes sense. So if you had 48 inches, you just divide it by 3. 3 divided into 48 is going to be 16 inches. And then you keep that in the upper uh, 16 inches or the upper one-third area. And that is usually going to be the most common way to install these. But if you have a set of plans, you would need to follow the instructions on the plans by the structural engineer or the architect.